here at track and field coach Sean McMahon. Hard to believe, coach, but uh, the MIEC Indoor Championships are this weekend and the indoor season is, is winding down. Before we preview the MIEC Championships, let's just talk a little bit about the Ole Qualifier, your last meet before the, the uh, indoors and some very, very solid performances yeah, from the Cardinals. It's probably one of my favorite days as coach here. I don't know that uh, we had school records across the board, but of course Peter broke the school record in the 1,000. Uh, Traxler was right on his heels and moved into third place all time on that list, and that's a pretty good list. It's not uh, a top five that's been weak historically, and so that was awesome. But overall, with 35 people total at the meet, I think we came away with 31 of those kids either had a lifetime or season best on Saturday. So it means that they're all doing the right things and everybody's getting better at the end of the year. Problem was some of those performances just came up too short for my ex. You know, you talk about uh, wanting to, to kind of position yourselves to be ready for the indoor championships, and, and really with the performances you got at, at St. Olaf, you're kind of in that, in that mode now. As a coach, do you feel pretty excited heading into a Friday and Saturday at the conference championships? I do. I've, of course, I wish we had more people going, and, uh, but it's you know, historically about the same number that we usually take. I, I'm hoping for more outdoors. I think the way that um, maybe the strengths of our kids sort of stack up against the rest of the conference, I expect more of them to go outdoors. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, you know, it's the, it's it's a championship style meet, and it's treated that way, and it should be an exclusive group of people. So I'm you know I'm not surprised that we don't take a lot of people, but it, it's a it's a tough thing to get to, and uh, those who are going are well deserving. Some of those that are going, uh, Coco Booker stands out. Uh, she did win the shot last mm -hmm. week at at St. Olaf. She's ranked third in the conference yep. right now, heading into the shot put. She's had a great indoor season and really we talked before the season that her and Cassandra Burtis had good off seasons and really we're expecting a lot from them this year. Well and like you say great off season that's when it has to happen we don't have enough time within the maybe six to eight weeks of training to get everybody you know to the, to the top so what we've got going is six months of preparation culminating in a championship style meet and you know we'll see Coco like you said Coco's third um, I don't know if she can win but a huge throw might do it, but second place would just be a, a sweet accomplishment for him. You know, and, and Peter's doing real well, uh, Jake Traxler, Aaron Haley, freshman, yeah. actually qualifies in two events, which is yeah. really pretty impressive for How a freshman. That? Yeah, and not only that, but in our conference, our 5,000 meters indoors is a very exclusive group. We only take 16 people. And in a conference that's so established in distance running, that is huge to have a freshman going in at uh, 5K. Now, obviously, we're going to put you on the spot for the last the last question of the interview. Uh, expectations for the weekend. What, uh, As the coach, what do you want to see from the Cardinals this yeah, weekend? compete like crazy. I mean, do exactly what they've been doing all year. Um, and since it is our, you know, our strongest performers, I expect even a little bit sharper focus and maybe a little bit more um, in the way of mental preparation. It's a longer meet because it's over two days. And so it, uh, it can be a little bit of a grind mentally, but I think we're ready for it. Friday and Saturday, the MIEC Indoor Championships up at McAllister and St. Paul. Good luck, Coach. Thank you, sir.